What up peeps, Josh McClellan here with Fit Mission Makeup. Now today's gonna be a fun day for you, just a little bit different with, I'm gonna have half of my head curled one way. I gotta go out the door after this and half of my hair curled the other way. I'm showing you how to curl with a wand versus a flat iron. You guys ask these questions, I give you the answers. So let's go. All right, now with short hair, we wanna have some fun, we wanna have some sass. I'm gonna show you real quick on how are the best ways to curl your hair using a flat iron, and then I'm going to show you a different couple wraps that you can use using a wand. So first, I gotta part off my hair with my rusty, trusty cheetah print. Cheetahs like the thing right now, right? I always swore I wasn't gonna like it, and here it is in my head. Okay, flat iron real quick. These are not turned on at the moment. Um, but I want to show you this this way without frying my hair <laughs> with it in. Okay, with this bad boy right here, we're gonna flat iron. And what you do is you're just gonna curl this under like so. You can take your other hand and have it help you twirl it around. But there's a couple different things that you can do when you are using the flat iron. One, we can just take something and we do a twist like so, it's gonna make it look more funky, more fun. The other thing that we can do, and yes, this is turned off, that's why nothing's curling. Um, the other thing that we can do though is take that piece, make it a clean piece, you're gonna come across your face here, and you're just gonna hold this and twist it around to get a full curl, more like what a wand would give you. So again, pull it in tighter, I'll show you this curl. You're just gonna hold it here, and then once you get to the point where you need help, you can have your hand guide you and move it around. So I'm gonna take this piece, and I always wanna go back. Okay, so I'm gonna have my hand, and my if you notice on this side, my hand's under, and if you notice on this side, my hand's over. Okay, so that way that it's just, it's it can go back, it can come back, okay? So on this side then, I'm gonna have my hand go over, it's gonna come along here, I'm gonna help, help guide it with this other hand, and then it's gonna pull it all the way through, okay? All right, now we're gonna do the wand. There's two different ways you can do this. So you can do a rope wrap, or you can do a flat wrap. A flat wrap is where everything is flat on it just like a curling iron would be. It's flat the whole entire time. A rope wrap is where you get it kind of those rope type twists where it's kind of stacked on top of the other pieces or all the hair strands are stacked. That's the difference in the two. You'll notice it more up here than down here because I have such width going along there. But on this side, we're crossing over, coming, curling back, okay? And then on this side, again, this is my right side, left hand working on the right side then we're going to go in get clean pieces don't just throw pieces in there get clean pieces and then we're going to wrap it on up okay now we're ready i'm going to turn these puppies on and we're going to get started for reals i have my heat so you always want to test the heat for your hair type i recommend that when you are starting with a brand new hair tool always start at a lower uh, a lower degree. So these hair wands are really cool because I can I can get to an actual number whereas having these dials that say 25 30 and me not fully knowing. So this registers for the actual heat that they are changing to. All right, so as they're going, I'm going to tell you guys if you have medium or sorry, if you have fine hair, I start I would say start out at like 340 350 somewhere in there if you and then if you have thicker hair you can go up more but you always want to start out lower lower is better if it's not curling like you want to then go a little higher but i would i personally wouldn't go higher than like four 410 is what i like 410 420 i would not go in the 450 range okay these are almost done heating up and we're gonna roll on through so i'm going to do one side of my hair is going to be the flat iron and one side of my hair is going to be the wand. The only hair products I have in my hair right now are from Launch. I use the Glaze Hair Lotion, the Whip Mousse, and the Salt and Sea Spray. Those three are like the volume bomb. Did you see this hair? Did you see this volume? This is freshly washed hair. Nothing has been done to it besides blow drying it. And it's the volume that I get from those three suckers. I love it. Okay, 
product in your hair before you start helps add grit. So the salt and sea spray is helping get texture, the whip mousse is helping add volume, and the glaze is helping protection and volume as well. That texture is needed. We have these at, I have this one at 390. I'm gonna put this one at 390. I don't know why I did 410. So 390, I'm going to show you one time the one look that I was saying that this would just be more of a funky look. You're just gonna go like that and curl like that. On the flat iron side, you would just curl the top and leave out the rest. Okay, all right, one wrap. There we go. Now on this side though, everything is going to go around. So on this side, I grab it and you follow through. Just like so, see that? Grab it, follow through. And then we have those pieces. On this side, it's a little different. And it sits in there longer. There you go, but see the, did the difference in how they curl? With short hair too, one really, I mean, I personally think this is one of the best tips anyone can give anyone with short hair, is I like to do the under part with a flat iron just cause it's 10 times easier. And then I like to have those rope wrap looks up here. So this underside, I would just do everything with a flat iron and then do the wand for the top. It's faster, It's so, and nobody sees those curls anyways. So I'm gonna just go through and do these, you're gonna see me do both sides. I'm gonna speed up this process just a bit for your sake, and then we'll come on back when I get closer up here so you can really see the difference in the curls. Make sure you guys, anytime you watch my tutorials, you go down to the descriptions below because I have all the links and I have tips of what to do for depending on what the video is. So any of my videos, I try and give it a lot of good detail so that you guys have all the information you could ever, ever want. Also, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, doing all the things. Oh, turn on your notification for the bells because then you know when a new video goes live. Done and done, right? Easy for you. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. I'm just gonna speed things on through. to rock out this top so that you can see exactly what is going on. And I will show you even more so the difference between a rope wrap and a flat wrap with the wands. So the top, when you do a flat iron, it still is just going the same. And as you can tell, two totally different curls, two totally different looks. And one does take a little bit longer. But one thing that I really like about those, those curls from a, from the wand is they stay so good throughout the week. This is an easy curl that you guys can get and a lasting curl, which is huge, especially if you're like me and you only wanna curl on day one of your hair and then the other days you go in and you do it a little different and looser. So you will see in past videos, I'll plug some more in there will be little notes up at the top where you can see some other past videos I've done but that is where um, you'll see day two day three hair and how you'll notice that the curl isn't as strong as it is on that day one but I still like it and it makes life a lot easier okay now on this one I'm gonna have to part my hair down the middle today so that I can show you guys this evenly all right, on this one, I'm gonna show you the difference in the wraps as we got here a little higher. So I'm gonna do a flat wrap right now. So the flat wraps, again, everything is flat on the wand. So this is gonna come in pretty dang flat and it's gonna stay very flat throughout it. So there's no, you'll see, you'll see what I mean. 
Hold tight. This is more like what a curling iron would give you, that flat wrap, okay? And the pieces are really long and really wide. And then the rope wrap is going to go where everything kind of twists and lays on top of each other. That first one is gonna be more flat, but then all the other ones have, like where they're twisted together, just like an actual rope would do. So it's just, these pieces are smaller. This is more spread out. So they give just two little bit different. I personally like the rope wrap and I feel like they stay better throughout the week too. So I am a rope wrap kind of girl. Clean pieces are so important. And you know what? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I used to be somebody who didn't do clean pieces. I just threw in curls wherever I wanted. And I gotta say my hair is, it's not even precise. It's not even about perfection. It's just about getting your hair curled and quicker too. So you would think that this takes longer. It actually is shorter because you are getting actual pieces versus having to dig through your hair and be like, oh, what piece did I curl? What piece haven't I curled? So it, it does make a difference for sure. All right, here we go for our top piece. Sometimes I'll hold on to the curl too, especially if you're getting longer hair and we're getting longer as we go up. Woo, look at that curl. Holy Hannah, she might need to be straightened a bit. Oh, I wanted to tell you all too that if you are doing a wand and you don't wanna have so much volume up here, that's when you're gonna do, do the wand down here more versus how I showed you in the beginning to do it up here. You're gonna curl down here. So if you don't want volume up here, which girl, I live for volume. Go bigger at home. Um, if you don't want that volume though, hold it down here, wrap it and curl it right here so you don't get any of that. Okay, the front, I come out straight. I don't come, I don't go as high as I did everything else because I want it to just lay more down. And then in the back, everybody wants to hold them like this. So you really have to remind yourself to turn it. So no holding like this, turn it up and down. That's when it gets easier. You gotta think Shirley Temple ringlets. Hold it straight up, don't hold it like this. Hold it straight up. All right, so now we're gonna mess with these. Sorry, I gotta look at my mirror. I gotta see what we got going on here. Um, so what I do, normally do, is I have this that's called marula oil, and I love this because it's not a thick oil. So now this is when I go through my curls with this marula oil, because then, you know when you have dry hands and you're folding laundry and all the fabric gets stuck to your hands in the most wonky, gross way, especially with like microfiber cloths, oh, or those kind of sheets, oh, it's so bad. So this helps it to not stick to that. It also helps the pieces kind of hold together. So if, as you see, like I'm not going through it with a brush, we're just using our fingers and we're just manipulating the hair just a bit. See that volume from using the wand? Do you see that? And then the difference in the curls, it's just a way different look. So there you go. We have flat iron on this side, a wand on this side. Isn't that so cool being able to see the difference in them? They're both super fun. Camera guy, which one do you, you go for the volume or you're going for this? You're like, I have no, no idea. Volume. Vo volume? You I, thought I, the, the, I thought I liked the flat at first, but I'm liking the volume. The volume. <laughs> All right, so there you go. There's the difference in the two. Both super fun, both super cute. All right, I'm gonna show you guys all how it looks. This is the wand side. And this is the flat iron side. All right, we got the straightener side. We got the wand side. Now you guys know the difference in the two, the looks that they give, seeing it both side by side. Now some people call it a straight, straight, straightening, straight iron, straightening iron. I call it a flat iron. Maybe it depends on what side of the country that you live in or other countries. You guys can comment below what you call your flat iron. I'm a flat iron girl. I don't know what y'all are if you're a straightener girl, but comment below what you guys call it. I always wanna know. All right, you guys, I hope that you like this tutorial. We have an easy curl, both sides of my hair. One does take a little bit longer. As you saw, you have to hold it in there longer, but I have short hair. This is an easy hairstyle. I'm showing the difference between a flat iron and a wand, and you're good to go. You're set, now you know. 
All right, take care, have fun, and next time, don't you forget, you can always follow me on jocelyn.mcclellan on Instagram and Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan on Facebook where I do, do tutorials and give tips and tricks all the time. Uh, makeup tips on Facebook is every Tuesday and hair every Thursday. Thanks you guys, have a great one, we'll see ya.